Hey, what's up legends? Welcome to a brand new live stream. So it's Monday, we are going back into an old series which is a lot of fun. Uh, it's called Draw with Stefan, but we've changed it a tiny little bit around to make it a little bit more efficient, just a little bit more streamlined, and also just with a timer on the clock or a clock on the timer. Which way does it go? I do not know. But hey, here we are on a Monday afternoon. Um, my name is Stefan Kunz. I'm a lettering artist from Zurich. I'm excited that you are here and that you are spending your afternoon, evening or morning, wherever you are with me. And we're doing this in an hour. So the goal is that we're gonna fit it all into an hour. You guys will promote or submit some quotes to draw, to letter, and then we are going to pick one and we're going to letter this one. You get to letter that with me. You can do it in your own style. You can copy me. You can do whatever you want. The goal is that we get to be creative, that we get to create something today. And even if we only have an hour time, it's gonna be an awesome time. So I'm excited. Uh, so hope that you got your tools ready. Uh, what I'm using today is a pencil and probably a blue marker which I've already started working with. And then maybe we'll add some twists along the way. We never know what we're gonna do, but let's look into the, um, into the live chat and let's start looking at what people are submitting for quotes. So if you are watching right now, you can submit your quote. And I just wanted to say thank you also to all the patrons who are actually uh, helping making this happen. So you can become an exclusive member, meaning that you can support this live stream, which means actually that you are looking that the camera works, that the light works, that we get all this cool technical tools, uh, things to work with and uh, you also get part of being uh, in a community, in a group. So we have had already two Patreon coaching sessions where actually one of our uh, chat members, um, Supernova, she uh, got a coaching session just last Friday evening and it was just amazing. It was cool to see where she's at right now, how she wants to combine painting and uh, lettering into one, how she can also take her art into the next level, push that. She was also one of the, the person who was at my live workshops in January in Switzerland and Zurich. And so I'm really excited about that. So you guys, you can let me know in the comment section, in the live chat, what type of quotes you want me to do next. Um, and let's see what people are writing in. Um, I see it began as a mistake. Well, I'm not sure what the second part of that quote is, but it should be, there should be something. If you wanna capture my heart, you should definitely go with something that's inspirational, that's motivational, or that has something to do with coffee, or it's, it's just funny. Um, so I had one on Sunday, somebody told me, um, I rather would work on my self-esteem than on my body, which is a great quote. It has so much great truth to it, and I really like that. So let's see if I can find something really fun, really cool. Um, don't press yourself, that's one. Um, stars can shine without darkness. Ooh, classic, that one is good. Let's do that one. So Ramil uh, shared this one, I'm gonna see, I cannot pin the comment, but I can write it down. So let's jump over to our other camera. And uh, again, guys, if you wanna become a Patreon, you can use the link below. Uh, you can start becoming a Patreon with just supporting this channel with just $1 per month, and it's already a huge help. Just also just you guys becoming a exclusive member. So I'm excited to see that uh, and see you there. So let's jump over to the switch here. Perfect. I got to move a little bit over here and uh, writing that down. So stars can't shine. So that's what I usually will start with. Stars can't shine without darkness. All right, now the goal is in this time is to actually write down the quotes to make sure that we have a few sketches, maybe a couple of ideas. Um, and I will usually start out with what are the most important parts of stars in darkness seems to be um, shine. Shine actually is very important. So I'll, I like to start off sometimes in a different way. So here is shine um, and maybe I'll have to fill out this gap here but i can also have stars come up here has nicely five letters which is perfect because the uh, letter here can be put right into the middle 
Um, let's see, cans. Either I fit it in here, which not necessarily the best way, but why not? And then without, so I already have one that would look really easy. It's a composition that is super effective and it's kind of like this circle shape. And uh, we'll add here something else. Then we'll have shine that will go th right through the middle. Um, maybe I'll change the S. Usually I'd like to do my S's like with a big uh, top heavy and then just like a small lower piece here. Um, but you can also change that around and kind of like the idea of doing that too. Let's see what we can get out from that. And then just write it out in a couple of ways. Again, just see see how this feels, how this fits. Maybe I'll do the circle a little bit bigger. And then I know that the um, T-A-S-R-S -S here in darkness will be a little bit more tight. Um, has eight letters. And then here we'll add the cant. And then without in a straight way fashion. That looks pretty dope. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get another version here. Um, this piece of paper is really thick. Let's see if I can just hide these away somewhere in the trash. You know, that's how we do. Um, let's see. So I hope you guys are actually happy with that quote here. Um, and let's see, center line. Let's see if we can add shine maybe. Um, so another way is to play around with the style of the letters. So just maybe the first letter, the last letter, no. Um, I'm still remaining pretty much in the same thing, but what if we change it around, change the shapes around. So here, stars. Oh, because it starts with and ends with an S, we kind of could use that. Can't shine. that but then we have yeah without it could get bigger without darkness not my favorite so far my favorite so far is kind of this one here well actually this one here a little bit more transposed so kind of more of a Small, big, small, and rounded edge arc here. Um, very, very basic so far, so which is pretty cool. Um, and I think, you know what? No, we, we can do that on paper. I was, just, I was just thinking if I should actually move on to the iPad, but we can do that on paper. I'm just gonna grab here a stack of new paper over there. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna switch it around because that's more of the Instagram format. And I'm, I'm not even sure why I'm saying this, why it's so necessary to do it in the Instagram format, but it kind of feels like it is. Um, and I don't know about you, but guys, it's getting hot in here. I'm just wearing too much. I thought I would dress up for the occasion, you know, just the, uh, the shirts and uh, the whole thing. Uh, just getting like back into the YouTube live setting, um, but it's really getting warm and I cannot explain, but it's good. Okay, so let's take this all off. Not gonna dress any more than that, so don't worry. Uh, you're not getting anything else. And then because it's so warm, we need to hydrate. So a little bit of coconut water. 
Actually, coffee would be great too. But I've already had like two cups of coffee today. Three cups. Three cups of coffee already. And it's not even, it's like 3 p.m. I cannot have any more coffee. So, all right, got a center line. Got a center line from the page as well. Um, honestly, it would have been cool to do the whole thing on a chalk wall, which is right behind me. Um, and I cannot just change the settings, but we're just gonna do it like this here. Okay, so um, we're gonna add the arc on the top. So it's not gonna be a full arc, kind of like a circle shape, but just gonna be in here. So we're just setting down the grid lines. Um, this is, again, if you're working on an iPad, this is where you use the grid builder. Um, because it will just like help you in your process make that a lot faster and then we'll put in here the shine we'll just add it at an angle just a tiny angle not too much just a tiny little bit um, and then here we got the uh, the line so that's for the other word then we'll have here a little longer word which is without and then finally, I'm just gonna turn this piece of paper around, just realizing that the center line isn't really centered. Um, it's not convenient, but it is what it is. Uh, so let's see, not too far down, like this. And this is where you get like really good round um, angles, is again, using your wrist. Um, and using this as kind of like the center point. So wherever, like however close you want to do this, you can change the angle, but this will give you a really nice angular uh, round motion. Um, and it's great to have that just as a help to make it easy. So I'm just creating that. And now I can already start out with uh, kind of like setting the spacing for my letters. So since I know that stars, has five letters, um, it's pretty easy to just make sure that they're all set correctly, like this. And then here, can't has four, so kind of like starting out in the middle, getting two out here, two there, and a little bit spaced out more to the left because there's an apostrophe here. And then shine will have kind of like a slant, so always good to set your slants. Um, just to keep your lettering consistent. That is one of the most important things that I have to do uh, to keep my lettering consistent is to um, make sure that all these lines are there before we get started with lettering. And now, what is missing? There we go. What was happening with that camera? Interesting, so without has, how many letters does without have? Um, seven, so perfectly kind of like here, we'll go through the middle. We'll try to keep those same distance between those different letters. So here's seven and just a W will be a little bit wider, but then there's a I, so it kind of like uh, evens out. And then finally darkness has eight, um, so four on each side. Again, just trying to set that out and now we got like a whole grid so if you look at this you can see all these lines they're not perfectly made they're not specifically made for that but they are really great now to help us draw it out so again now i can start with the stars so i'm actually going to try and see if i can change the size of the s here and make it more kind of like vintage style maybe perhaps but i can always change these uh, styles as I go. Uh, I'm gonna move the A a tiny little bit more to the left because the T will leave so much space in here so that I can recoup that here with the R. So all of these things you'll learn, especially the more you do lettering, the more you'll learn about all these spacing issues, about um, the things that you can just improve on. But that's a fun part. It's learning, getting to know your letters, getting to know like what you are looking out for. Um, so this is some stuff that is really helpful. And again, 
Um, having a tool like an iPad is not necessary, but is really cool and fun to use that from time to time just because you can do so much with it. Um, now I'm gonna try and see what happens if I add that. Uh, so again, use your imagination when you're sketching it out to play around with some styles. Then here we have the C, the A, the N, and the T, the can't. And then Shine has how many letters? S-H-I-N-E. So five letters, the I should be in the middle, but since the S is usually big, um, pretty much we'll try to upspace it. So right now, pretty much space it right and correctly. Um, but I'm just gonna give this a tiny little bit more space here, trying to keep those um, the spacing between the letters consistent. Again, very important step in your lettering, consistency. Um, and so here I'm gonna try to actually maybe make that a tiny little bit shorter. Um, still not sure how I wanna process the H here, but I definitely want to add some more, some more space between here. So just adding this stroke with the low shine and then without we'll start here it's like this and then finally we have darkness the word darkness not just darkness and those are mostly very compact very squarish letters except for the S's and the A, but mostly all very square-ish. So then we're just looking to add maybe some, some flourishes already, just where we want them to be, where they would be nice. So here I still have the space and I can, that's where I probably will use the, the H, the ligature of the H to, to play around with. Not too much, but just enough to kind of like use that space right. And this is where I could add on to the to the S. And so right now it looks like I got something over here. Again, you see all the light the lines are very light and, and easy. Like I can still erase most of it and could be actually great to do that. And then finally, I just need to look at the time. So we got 40 minutes now to really play with that. So I feel like I can add more to it and I could be totally wrong. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so people are complaining in a good way that the strokes, you can barely see the strokes of the letters. So, which is again, which is why a reason why I would usually use an iPad instead of using pen and paper, because it's just easier to see. So, uh, you know what? Let's, let's move on to the iPad so you guys can see it better. So I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna increase the contrast and you guys can see all about it. Um, so let's take a photo over here. No, actually I need to take a photo. Just like this. Then I go back, import photo and boom. So here we go. Now I can increase the contrast. So now you guys can really see what I did here. So that looks all right. It's gonna um, take out the saturation here. And so this is pretty much the drawing that I did. Um, as you can see here, the star is a little bit darker there, but basically it's really where we are. So. Now let's jump in over, let's hide this a tiny little bit. 
um, because now I can just sketch over that and maybe even play around with some elements. So what I love to do is again, uh, take here the uh, paintbrush. So lately I've been playing around a lot with the paintbrush, uh, so increasing that size just because it's, it's a tool that is a lot more flexible in some way. Um, and now I can just play around. So see, I can add this here. And I'm not sure about those two S's to be that big. But then I can also just change around now the size here of the cant. this and then I have the shine here maybe that's just too much and then here the idea was to kind of get that around but now this is not actually I'm not liking this as much as before on the sketch so we might have to play around with that too and here we have the darkness shine instead of having that in a script font to write it out um, something like that maybe I don't know who knows such things we do not know always what we're doing here um, it's kind of getting good it's kind of getting good so I was thinking so this is what I was thinking before, um, because I thought we had a lot of time, plenty of time, um, that we could actually make like a 3D thing. Um, so the idea was to have like, to have here, I'm on the wrong layer. Now, what am I doing here that I'm not doing right? So hiding this a tiny little bit more. giving this a tiny little bit more of contrast and then having like those letters in a 3D fashion where it kind of like shoots out and has kind of the Star Wars effect, right? So that could be fun. And it could be fun if we put that on a dark background. So if we add like the whole background in in black, then we could write that those out. We could have a a banner over here. These the shine could be just a shine could be a twisted letter piece. Um, could also I don't know how would we do twisted letters? Um, so. Like, is it enough to do twisted letters on here? I think it could work. And then we'd have a banner back here and here as well. So basically what we just did, we changed the whole thing <laughs> and this is okay. Um, so we already looked at like how to do these banners, how to do the twisted word, um, looked at all of these pieces. So now basically is to be okay with the whole change. Again, it's probably for the best. 
And what I kind of like is also just to make this like really pop out, like having some, some rays uh, and all that. And then kind of have like those stars coming out uh, from all sides just to really make this amazing. Now, that means we got like 30 minutes left to really finish this or kind of like get it as far as possible. So this is again, totally a different thing, um, but I'm gonna look at how fast we can get there. So I'm going to do that by actually going to my grid builder, getting the arc. Well, actually it's not the arc, it's a different, um, tool that I'm using to make that right, which would be, it would be this one here. Okay. So bear with me a little, little uh, bit of playing around and getting it fixed and getting it right. So this almost looks correct. So like that. Now I'm just going to get this part here. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to put it down right here. Yes. Just like that. And then we're going to erase. We're going to erase with another eraser that is just a little bit better there. Some of these parts. Maybe I need to just increase that size a little bit. Looks a little bit right. And then go back to the other one. Just like that. All right, that looks good. Merge down, duplicate. We'll flip it around to get the stars up here. Easy peasy. Um, then for the rest, I don't think I need, well, we kind of need for the banner the same, same principle. So we're just going to grab that there. We're just placing it a little bit lower. Um, what I'm going to do also is transform this a tiny little bit here, place it there, flip it around again, and let's place it here. Try to keep those distances pretty equal. And then finally for the shine, I'll create like a known version of that. Now to create again, the letters fast as well. Um, it's not bad to use the letter builder. So I'm going to go for the letter builder, which I have here going with bold. Yeah, bold. Same is fine. Uh, making sure that I have a new layer, maybe change a little bit to, to a darker. So th five letters. That is correct. So I'm just again, oh, those are six now. Um, but that works for me. I'm just going to raise one here. Love it. And then I'm going to be placing these here. And so now you get to see how I warp them. Going to the advanced mesh, playing around with it a tiny little bit more. Just going really fast guys. So it's, if you can keep up amazing, I'm really excited, I'm proud of you guys. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm moving just too fast not being very articulate about every single step, but we are moving and we're doing it. And I see the chat on my side going up and up. So this is good. Um, so again, if you want those tools, you can also uh, get them in the uh, link below. Now I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to rotate it. And it probably was a bad idea because I need a lot more than this, but not too bad though. So four, almost right. Okay, just warping this a tiny little bit. Perfect. Now I just need to, I feel like I just need to flip that around like this and then they should match up nicely, almost nicely. Kind of like
like that. And then, oh, then we should be done with this. Um, the question now is, is it all on one straight line? And I'm not sure about that, but we'll figure that one out by actually just, yeah, see these are not exactly on the line. So I'm just trying to figure out, um, okay, so. So now everything is on the same line, which is perfect. And now get started. Let's see if we can change the background to uh, black. Ooh, now it's really dark. And I'm just gonna draw the outlines with a pencil brush here. And I can just start off with the star, maybe not as big here, but like this is looks good. Ooh, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit outside of the frame, but the the reflection of the light of my light source here is kind of like thro throwing me off. Um, this is why I'm having a hard time to just keep my head straight. I'm just trying to find where I do not see a reflection or the light that is right in front of me that gives me actually this nice face um, is not bothering me as well. See, those are the problems that YouTubers have. And I'm not even sure that I can count myself as a YouTuber just yet, but I'd like to say so. And I honestly would love to actually start collaborating with other YouTubers, like get them to do a live stream here to get people like, like popular YouTubers and get them to do some hand lettering um, and then just chat with them about stuff. So here we go with an A. Lower this a tiny little bit here. Also gonna lower this one here as much as I possibly can. So guys, let me know by actually taking a photo and sharing that on Instagram stories, um, tagging me in it, that you are doing this as well. Share it with Stefan, um, like hashtag draw with Stefan, and then so I can see you guys posting. Also, I've had a issue with my Instagram account where I do not see any notifications anymore, um, which is really awkward. And weird and now I'm just also trying to move this a little bit further here just kind of like that bases out that letter nicely yeah I like that okay so we got the first letter down now we get to here the second word which is darkness and you see how fast I can move on I love I love speed I love being in control of this tempo just making sure that those lines are nearly perfect um, so that I can just move on I can have fun with the letters and not having to worry too much about anything else so just like that Now the goal is that we're done in an hour, which uh, leaves me about, I don't know, 20 minutes to finish this. Well, we had some time for the countdown. We had some time where I explained it. So it's not gonna be necessarily a whole hour of drawing, but I want to introduce that hour just so um, I could go on forever. And that also helps me to know how long I have, how much time I need to plan and do things 
um, which is also a great help for me uh, to stick to a plan, to stick to um, what we're doing here and give you guys also just like, otherwise you will jump in, you just like, how long will this be going for? And then, then it goes for 40 minutes and you, somebody is, um, is sad that it just went for 30, 40 minutes. And then sometimes it will go for two hours or I'll do a five hour drawing challenge, which again, I feel like I finished it, but you never know. There's always something that you can find that you can do more of. And I definitely don't want to complain. I'm excited that we're here. We're creating, we're having fun. Um, that's the goal of the whole exercise and uh, to always enjoy what you're doing, being having fun creating while creating. Um, that is the mission that we're having today. So here we go. So just about here, then I have to edit the gap in here and then finally can erase those uh, help lines that I've created to draw this out here, kind of like these here, and then maybe just a tiny little bit here and there. Perfect. So we got stars and darkness. We still have a ton more to do. Um, I need to find the sketch layer, which is here. Invert. Perfect. Like that. Then I can create another layer where it's going to be, um, where I'm going to be drawing the rest here. So it's going to be up here and then the same thing. Let's see, can I actually duplicate this and flip it around kind of like that? I definitely should be able to do that. Sick. That works. Okay, cool. Merge down. Let's see if I can move it a tiny little bit down. We can always shift everything else as well. Um, but I like that. Now we're going to use these here. So this is where I want the eye to be. Then we're going to shift a tiny little bit here. The rest. And then the same thing here. So this is a difficult letter here to do. So this is where I want the S. And here is where I want the H. So I'm just actually going to copy this part. So to just get the most consistency as possible, copy and paste, flip it around. Just like that. And then the problem is that the S is rounded. So maybe I can still get it a little bit further back here. So that I can get it to. And now I just need to merge these together. And I'm just going to use a little bit thicker line drawing here because I'm not going to use a letter builder on this. I could, definitely could, um, but trying to do. shapes as close as possible. And again, most of drawing is also just playing around with different ways of, of seeing doing something um, to see how we can do that.
So that looks pretty good to me. So now I can kind of use this as a way again to draw inside here. I'm gonna reduce, see it's too thick. Um, it's too thin in the middle. Ah, that looks about right. Now, one thing that I haven't thought of doing yet, but I could, is to actually share this project file on my Patreon page. So everyone who is uh, an exclusive member who supports the live streams could get access to all of these files, to the whole grid here system that I've been using, um, and then just like be able to have all these guidelines, grid lines, all my layers, um, and be able to kind of learn from that Perhaps, perhaps it's helpful, perhaps it's not. I don't know, I'm not sure exactly, um, but it, just an epiphany idea that I had right now. Um, So that is the next layer here. And then we'll draw in all these lines. Now, the one thing that I can also do is to just get the um, help lines here in the background to get the same thing for a star. So here I can go to the uh, canvas and then add the guidelines. Well, actually, add a drawing guide and then select symmetry or yeah, no perspective actually. And then the goal would be to put that somewhere in the middle like that. And so I can now kind of like get these lines here to converge on one point. I can 
barely see those lines, but they're there. I can actually just go in here and just opacity set it to a other color here. And now we're only like 10 minutes down. I feel like we're not getting to be done today, which is a good learning um, step here. I'll, I'll probably just add a couple more minutes towards the end just because we started late. I blabbed on too much at the beginning and um, but that also means I can just, instead of getting like straight lines, getting like close to straight lines, is enough um not necessarily setting up for perfection but more for just close enough perfection and then we have these two banners inside here um, that i want to add so one i'm now thinking of how can i use the space the best and i feel like This here could do the trick and then I can rotate that around, do the opposite here. The good thing is that without is a little bit longer. So that should be okay. And so the goal would be that it will flow into one direction. So I'm just going to merge these two together here. It will kind of like cap off this one layer with the other. Even better would be to kind of like use this whole thing, but I'm, fe I'm not feeling that this could work really well. And so now I can erase some parts from these helplines here, and I'm going to use the mask to do that. So I do not erase anything, but I just keep um, just all these information in here. Just like that. And then we're going to start coloring in really, really fast. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to hide the sketch layers in the background. Um, I'm going to hide all these layers here, which is the grids and those layers there. And so now kind of what I would do is maybe not too thick, but thick enough. Yeah, I forgot some lines as well. So this probably feels like we're just doing it really fast. And it doesn't just feel like that. It is doing it really fast. I'm trying to gain up some speed to do the most that we can in the few minutes that we still have and just making sure that we got it all done in a good time. Just like 
that. So you still have that center line here. Um, oh, okay. Just realizing that <laughs> I drew everything here on this line, which is absolutely terrible. But we can erase most of it. And if you guys don't tell anyone, I won't tell anyone either. But maybe somebody will notice and then we'll just have to... <sighs> to not say anything about it. Um, okay, so now again back to the coloring parts. Make sure that you color in on the right layer. So now what I will do and try to do is to erase some of this part here and just making sure that kind of where it would be hidden behind that we'll get that kind of like this um, shadow effect happening. That means kind of like reducing the size here. And that helps really to see those letters in a much better light and just see kind of like the difference in the tones. And so that kind of like makes them stand out so really nicely. So if you look at that, that is probably the coolest way to do that. Now, again, we're trying to do work as fast as possible. So that means we're just gonna try to fill in those next parts in a really efficient manner. And the best part is like, if you can already do that while drawing it in, so making sure that those parts here kind of like be filled in.
Okay, and since we are running out of time, we're already hit the one hour mark now. And um, now I really cannot do too long. So here, stars can't. I'm just gonna add that in. Otherwise the whole quote wouldn't be complete. Can't shine. With, with, not which, with, out. I hope I did that on a new layer. No, I did that on the same layer. Great. Um, cool. So after that, we probably would just get into it, adding some, like making that ribbon here fade away into the background here, kind of like that. And then the same thing over here, here, and then maybe probably let that pop up somewhere on the top like that. Perhaps like this too here. Probably have to fill in the whole section at the bottom, but it already looks pretty okay to me like this. Um, well, actually that doesn't look that great. But then after that, you kind of add like some, I don't know, some, some glare, some shine, some sun rays somewhere kind of like that out or even just get it a whole touch behind here where just like color that in and then just let it flare out but here we go um the layout is already made it's all all there uh let's see so if i show you that like that you can see so stars can't shine without darkness we have a twisted word in the middle again top and bottom um our sketch initially looked a little bit different but hey, that's totally fine. It can always happen. But I love where we got in here so far. Um, it looks really good. I'm wondering where this light comes from. Oh, it comes from the top. This is why I'm having such a hard time seeing that. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy this where we got to. And okay, honestly, I need to make sure that the next time we do this, I'm a little bit more prepared with the hour. I should have started right away on the iPad. I've lost a little bit track of time doing it so fast. Um, on paper first and then switching over. You guys couldn't see the sketch, which is again, another thing that I need to take care of. But I'm really excited that you guys are here, that you guys are watching. And um, let's see, I, yeah, I've learned a lot. Again, the grid builder helps you out. Even like on paper, you need to draw out those grids. You need to draw out those lines to make sure that the spacing is correct. On paper actually looks pretty fine here. Um, we could have done a lot from there too. And I just liked where it switched. I really enjoyed how we we um, change it around and play it around somewhere else. And I think like even here for another time, the banners, I, I'll probably do another style of banners on this piece here, perhaps in another design on a next live stream. But I like this format where we draw for an hour, we choose a quote together, you guys, uh, prompt those quotes so I don't even have to think about choosing well or selecting a quote beforehand because that sometimes takes time too and uh, You guys rocked it. I cannot wait to see what you guys have created and I hope to see that very very soon uh, Let me see if I can get back here on the computer getting the right um, Parts yes, okay, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this draw with me se session I'm also trying to get some friends in who would be drawing with me. So if you have any suggestions of who to draw with, so for example, I have my friend Ian always that I want to draw with, that I have my friend Lauren and, and many other great designers, great artists that I want to learn from too and see where we can um, go from next. And I can't wait to see what we're going to do and draw next on Wednesday. So guys, hope that you have a fantastic time. Don't forget to share it with using the hashtag draw with Stefan. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, um, and we'll see you in the next one for that. And so that you don't miss it, turn on the post notification bell and make sure that you see those notifications as well because I've got them turned off and I don't see them. So I had to turn them back on. So this is what I hope that you guys um, will enjoy. And again, open for suggestions. Let me know what you think and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye guys. And I'll have to switch here.